After a spectacular performance in Neil Bhatti's Sonata, Swara Bhaskar is back as Anarkali of Ara. The talented actress is here with us at Bollywood Life and we'll talk a little bit about the film which looks very, very promising. Thank you. So, uh, Swara, like first after Neil Bhatti's Sonata, now we have got Anarkali of Ara. Do you feel lucky that in such a short time, people in Bollywood are seeing you as a actress worthy enough to take a film like totally on her shoulders as a solo lead? Absolutely, I feel very lucky. Firstly, I feel lucky that within one year, uh, Nil Bhatti released in April 2016, Anarkali is going to release in March, uh, 24th March 2017, that within one year, the audiences get to see me in two completely different roles, looks, stories, feel, flavor, world. Uh, in Nil Bhatti, I was a maid and a mother of a 15 year old. In, uh, in Anarkali, I am an orchestra party singer uh, who is, uh, a, you know, a completely different uh, role, a completely different character. So I feel very lucky, of course, and uh, yes, it's very exciting that I get to shoulder two such fantastic stories and two such very, very important women-centric stories on my own shoulders. So that feels really good. And you just spoke about how you went to Ara to get a hang of how it was actually there and of yeah. the total scenario in which this character is based in. Yeah. So can you tell us one interesting anecdote from your visit? Well, I think that uh, I... I you know, honestly, when, I, when, when the film was offered to me, my first uh, sort of reaction was, I better go to Ara because I've never been to Ara. And for all those who don't know, Ara is a town in Bihar, 85 uh, kilometers from the capital of uh, Patna. It was very interesting because I got to meet some women who actually do this kind of work. Uh, there is a group called Munni Orchestra Party in Ara and I met them and uh, so I heard their stories, I recorded their songs. I I had long interaction with them uh, over many days and two things struck me a lot. One, that uh, these uh, women see themselves as artists fundamentally because when I was recording their songs and I was asking them to sing, they sang uh, these double meaning songs and, and then I said, why don't you, why don't you, you know, I want to hear something new of yours, some new double meaning and one of them said, no, we'll, I want to, so now you are Nirgun Bhajan. And that really struck me that actually the repertoire of these women somewhere goes back to a time of, uh, you know, folk, a light classical music, a, a certain tradition, which is quite a tradition of artists. And um, so that was good for me. And the second thing was that I, I got to see firsthand how vulnerable their existence is. Because uh, I was supposed to go watch a show with them and we were standing on the road waiting for their temper to come and pick them up. And this lady, who's the main lady, who's calling her dancers and singers and they were not answering. And I asked her what the problem is. She said, oh, you know, two days ago I sent them somewhere and they haven't come yet. And when finally she got through, she, she was having a fight and saying, oh, I've taken the advance and so on. The, I was like, what's the issue? The issue was that they had not left those girls. They were like, oh, we have to keep them here. And I was absolutely shocked, you know, as, a, as an artist who also basically works on contract for a limited amount of time and when I do my work and my time period is over, I get my money and I move on to another project. The idea that somebody can physically restrict you and not let you leave even once your performance is over just to me showed in very stark, in a very stark manner how vulnerable these women are. And those became the two pegs for Anarkali's own character. And like in the posters, like you are looking so beautiful with all the jewellery and all of that. Yeah. And the role Make is being described Photoshop as that. <laughs> styling. <laughs> Like it's been described as that of an erotic singer. So yeah. can you tell us a little bit more about Anarkali? I mean, Anarkali is a, is a singer. She's a small star of Ara. She sings these erotic double meaning songs for her. Uh, she's used to a male audience. She often, uh, you know, she's a bit of a tease because that's how she has to, she has to kind of seduce her audience into paying attention to her on stage. Uh, so she does that. She's a feisty woman. And she is a woman who knows, who has seen the harsh reality and violence of that world. So she's not scared of it. And that fearlessness becomes a very core quality for her in her story. The fearlessness and the anger that she feels. And from the character of a friend that you portrayed in Tanuved's Money to an Arkali of Ara, so far which is the one character which is closest to Swara's actual real life personality? Two characters. I think Ranjana, uh, Bindiya in Ranjana because I think that element of slight madness is there in me uh, and uh, Anarkali Avara. I know it sounds weird that like one foul-mouthed 
singer of erotic songs is what is closest to my personality. But uh, no, I think that Anarkali and I both share this uh, sort of sense of anger against injustice. That is one thing we have very much in common. And now, thanks to this film, uh, Gutter Mouth also. <laughs> like all the movies, like most of the films that you have chosen so far, are all set in India's heartland. They are stories from yeah. smaller towns of India. And yeah, a lot yeah, of Bihar are like making my career only. <laughs> I want to thank the, the two states. Yeah, but a lot of directors are telling stories which are more rooted to real India or the heart of yeah. the country. Yeah. And a lot of actors are also looking out for such roles yeah. which now. give them now, you know, recently. Yeah. So what do you think that such kind of characters have for artists, you know, for the attraction? I mean, I them? think that, that it's, I think that stories are what are attractive. I think that there is a lot of unexplored stories that lie in India, in the heartland, in the roots. And, uh, you know, I think that Thankfully, Bollywood is realizing that now and because audiences are realizing it. Audiences are happy to watch that film and that's why Bollywood is making them. And I think that actors have also now begun to realize that, you know, the best performances are when the character is not close to you in speech, in body language, in life, in personality. So I think that is, the, you know, basically it's best to be challenged. And so that's why I think that, you know, people are... Recently you spoke about feminism and it made a lot of sense for a lot of people out there. Do you think more actresses in Bollywood should be more vocal about women's empowerment and gender equality? No, I, I think that people should do whatever they want to do and I think that people should have the right to speak out if they want and remain silent if they want. But I do think that those who speak out should not feel threatened and should feel safe and because I think currently the atmosphere in the country is one where if you speak out you are under, you get attacked. And that is not a good situation. You should always, there they should be a situation where people are free enough to say whatever they want to say. And do you feel Bollywood is misogynistic? I think Bollywood is sexist. Okay. And I, Sonam also said that after Neil Bhatti Sanata that you are an outstanding artist who is yet to get at you. So what do you feel about it? I like think it? Sonam is very sweet and I think that Sonam feels a lot of affection and she feels very protective towards me. So yeah, you can expect this kind of thing more from her. And lastly, like all of us are looking forward to Viridhi wedding with you, Sonam, Karina, all of you. So how much is your excitement level for this? I'm very wedding? excited for Viridhi wedding. I, I really enjoy working with Sonam. She's a good friend of mine. She's a lovely person. She's a good actor. I really, uh, uh, I like working with Ria. Uh, Ria is also uh, someone who as a producer I tremendously admire for the qualities that she brings onto her, into her production work. Uh, Karina is someone that, you know, obviously like every, we all admire her. So I'm very excited to be part of this film and I hope it will be a really fun and happy project. So this was Swara with Bollywood Life. All of you go and catch Anarkali yes. of Ara on 24th of March. Please watch Anarkali of Ara. That is why I've been yapping for so long. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.